Welcome to the Times Are Changing podcast. My name is Chase. I'm joined here with Zach. We are the COO and CEO of Golden Aspect. This is a podcast about cutting edge strategies in digital and social media marketing. In today's episode, we emphasize the importance of posting consistently on your Instagram and Facebook stories and talk about some helpful tips and tricks for getting the most value out of doing so. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about everything related to stories. Now, a quick background on stories, because they're kind of a unique feature that's popped up in the last couple of years. Uh, As far as we're concerned, they were initially created on Snapchat, um, and they became really popular on Snapchat. Essentially, what stories are, are like a a 15-second, either if it's a video, it's 15 seconds. If it's a photo, it's obviously just a photo. Um, But it's basically a short post that is removed after 24 hours of posting. So initially, these were on Snapchat. They became super popular. And then essentially, Facebook and Instagram just said, ooh, we like this idea. Let's just take it. Uh, And they did. And now, pretty much Instagram stories have become probably outpaced uh, Snapchat at this point. Um, They become very, very popular and a very important piece of running a social media page. So it makes sense that we should do a full podcast episode on this uh, because there is actually a lot to talk about here and and stories are are very important and it's definitely not something that you should overlook. Um, Stories provide a lot of opportunities to interact with your followers beyond simple posts Um, and people actually do watch stories a lot, a lot more than you might think. So it's very important that you know what these are all about and know kind of what types of content to be putting up there and how to take full advantage of what these stories have to offer specifically on Instagram and Facebook because right now those are really the main platforms where you should be posting stories. So like Chase said, uh, if you don't spend a ton of time on social media, Instagram and Facebook specifically, uh, you may or may not interact with stories on a regular basis. Uh, However, we're here to tell you that a lot of people, um, most people on these apps uh, do actually watch these stories all the time. Uh, One of the biggest reasons as to why is that stories are always found right at the top of somebody's newsfeed, meaning every single time they open up that app, which might be 20 plus times per day for a lot of people, all of those stories are going to be available right at the top, right in front of their face. So these stories, like Zach said, appear at the top on both Facebook and Instagram, and they're sorted based on two different things. Number one, um, what's been posted most recently, and also number two, which people or accounts you typically engage with. So uh, if you typically always watch the story from a certain person, um, regardless of whether the story is recent or old, most likely it's going to show up in front, um, but obviously also more recent stories will also show up towards the front. And if you're following a lot of people, um, chances are you're only going to be able to see you know a a handful of stories at a given time because if you're following a lot of accounts that's a lot of stories and so what's really important when you're thinking about posting stories is to be consistent Um, because what that's going to do is it's going to give your audience a chance to interact with your stories and the more often that they interact with your stories uh, the more likely it is that it's going to show up earlier in their feed um, and it's going to have a higher probability they're going to continue to come back and engage with them so if you only post stories once in a while uh, you're going to have a hard time building up that engagement and so it's really important when you're posting stories that you do post them consistently because that's how you're going to get more and more engagement Um, and also another huge benefit of stories is that basically you can post whatever you want Um, there's a lot of creativity here we're going to dive into some ideas in part two of what you can do but basically stories are a very casual way to interact with people Um, oftentimes they can be sort of behind the scenes Uh, they can be a lot less professional than regular posts it's great to put sort of behind the scenes videos Um, you can also put photos um, and you can also post multiple times per day Uh, stories are something that you're sort of allowed to sort of spam like you'll see some people have like you know, even like hundreds of stories per day. We'd probably recommend that that's a bit too much, but um, anywhere from like one to to even 20 stories per day is is probably in a good range because um, what'll happen is when people are scrolling through, they'll continue to click through these stories. Um, And it's kind of an ingenious sort of system. It works very similar to how posts do, where it's kind of got this infinite scroll feature, but instead you just kind of 
infinitely tap um, on the right side and go to the next story and the next story and the next story. So it's in your best interest to have more than one. Um, that way people will continue to tap through. Um, it's more likely that they'll engage with something that you posted. Um, and this is just a really, really good opportunity to reinforce your brand image. Um, being at the top of someone's feed when they open up their phone on Instagram or Facebook, that's huge. Like if your brand is there at the top consistently when they open up their phone, I mean, that's brand recognition um, that is basically free because uh, for a lot of these stories, they're gonna show up in your followers feed without even paying for them. Um, and there is the option to promote stories. Um, we're not gonna dive into that today, um, but this is a huge, huge opportunity to gain organic engagement with your followers um, in a way that's beyond simply just posting on social media like normal. As evident by the name stories, uh, stories are a great way to actually tell a story of something that's going on throughout the day. Like Chase said, uh, it's in your best interest to be posting a bunch of these stories. And it's also a really great way to be putting out a lot of content out there uh, without putting a whole lot of effort into it. Stories can be genuine, they can be uncut, they can be simple. So if you have a product launch going on, if you're doing a photo shoot, if you have some sort of event, if your company or brand is doing anything that's somewhat notable throughout the course of a day, uh, stories are a great way to be keeping your followers updated throughout that event uh, in sort of a semi real time. It's almost like kind of uh, creating a short like vlog or company video or whatever's going on just by adding little updates to it throughout the day on your phone so that if somebody were to hop on and watch your story they could see the progression throughout the day of whatever it is that you were trying to share with your audience. Uh, it's a really great way, like Shay said, to continually reinforce your brand and also sort of provide uh, a different look from a different angle uh, that might be a bit more raw and genuine than some of your other posts that are popping up on your account. This episode of Times Are Changing is brought to you by Golden Aspect, our company. We're a digital media and marketing agency that specializes in a one contact for everything social approach and completely integrated marketing campaigns. We emphasize high touch, strong client relationships, and fully integrated marketing approaches. Each of our marketers are proficient in every service we offer and are reachable seven days a week by text or call. This reliable communication and interaction with your business ensures that your contact will be equipped to handle anything you need anytime you need it. If you want to learn more about what Golden Aspect can do for your business or a friend's business, please feel free to check out our website, www.goldenaspect.com. That is www.goldenaspect.com. All right, so in part two, we really wanna dive into some specific tips and tricks for posting on your story because like Zach mentioned, you kinda of wanna keep it simple um, and you wanna make sure that it's something that's sustainable because posting on your story consistently is gonna be work, obviously. And so making it as easy as possible and finding tips and tricks to stay active without putting in too much work um, is always, uh, is always good. Um, although don't be afraid to put in work behind it because obviously that'll make your stories more engaging. Uh, but one of the first tips and tricks that we have is to get people to tag your brand account in their stories. And what happens if they actually tag your brand account, there's a little tag feature. We'll talk a bit more about all the different features that there are for creating stories. But if they use the at feature and they tag your brand account in their story, whether they're interacting with your product or service or they're at your location or whatever it might be, um, that's gonna basically send your brand account a direct message on Instagram and it's gonna say, hey, this person tagged you in their story. Would you like to repost it? Um, and if you repost it, it's gonna allow it to put it on your story. Um, and what we recommend here is just adding a bit of a caption or adding a GIF or something to explain to people why you're reposting it. Obviously, if it's something involving your product, it'll be pretty self-explanatory. Um, but like if it's an influencer collaboration, um, you can just add a little bit of a caption there just to add some more context. You know, hey, say, glad you enjoy our product, yada, 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 something like that. Um, and that is a super easy repost. Again, you're not even really making the bulk of the content. You're relying on somebody else to do that for you. Um, but that's going to be a really good thing. It's also going to add a lot of credibility. Um, seeing you know influencers related to your brand account 
for anyone watching is going to add credibility to your brand. Um, so for that reason, we really encourage um, you to encourage anyone related to your brand to tag that brand account in their stories. That way you can repost them. If they don't tag you, you can like screenshot it and repost it. Um, but what's cool is that if, if you actually repost it directly, um, they're able to tap on that story and go to their account and, and check it out. So um, if, if they don't tag you, it's a bit of a bummer. So definitely encourage people to, to be tagging your brand account and that's gonna give you um, some easy reposting stories. This is essentially Instagram's sort of only native sharing feature when it comes to like taking a post from somebody else and sharing it to your entire expansive followers. Um, so it's definitely something that you want to be taking advantage of. And it's also something that can work in the opposite direction. So like we mentioned earlier, uh, if you're having an event or doing a product launch or a photo shoot or something like that, um, tagging any other brands or prominent people, influencers like the photographer at the photo shoot, for example, or something, um, in your stories uh, can also increase the chances of them reposting your stories on their accounts, which can be a great way to, for completely free and totally organically, increase your reach and brand awareness into a bunch of totally different audiences. So this goes both ways. If people are tagging you, repost those. If you're working with other brands, you're working with other businesses, tag them and uh, encourage them to repost your stories as well. Uh, like I said, this is Instagram's really only way to share stuff from one account to all of your followers take advantage of it from a business perspective yeah and the other cool thing that was added recently as well is the opportunity to actually repost posts directly onto the story now you can do this with your posts and actually with other people's posts although we'd recommend most often doing it with your post unless um, another account's post is relevant to you um, you can obviously do that if someone else posts you know an influencer collaboration you could also repost it on your story um, we'd also recommend you just repost that directly onto your account um, but using the like direct message feature that's featured under every post on Instagram. If you click on it, you'll get an option to direct message it to a bunch of people and also the option to add it to your story. Um, this again works very similar to reposting a story, except it's with a post. Um, oftentimes with brands that we work with, we like to repost the, the, like the post for the day onto the story to let people know that it's up. Um, that way, you know, they might not see it in their feed if they don't scroll down far enough, but if that story is right in front of them at the top, um, then they'll see it and say, oh, that's cool, you know, and if it's a cool product or whatever, they might go check it out. So it's just another opportunity to get in front of more people and it's totally organic and it's free and it's very acceptable. People are totally used to, to lots of stories. They have very low standards. Um, so it's a very low stakes thing. Um, and we recommend uh, basically reposting as much as you can on there that's relevant um, because people are going to watch it and it's just another opportunity to, to engage with them. Like we mentioned earlier, stories are really a great way to give your followers a uh, a more genuine and inside look at your company and what's really going on behind the scenes and, and behind the facade of all the fancy, really high quality posts that you're putting up on a daily basis. Uh, whether it's literally just you walking around the office, like showing what's going on on a day to day basis, uh, or giving behind the scenes on setting up an event or uh, doing a photo shoot or just what really goes into running your company on a continual basis. Um, we sort of mentioned this when we talked about uh, Snapchat in the last podcast, uh, but this is a really great way and probably much more applicable for your brands to sort of bring some of that genuine content that people can really relate to uh, to the forefront of your brand on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, it's a great opportunity to interact with people uh, in an additional way. And we'd recommend that if you have someone, you know, in your business um, that's able to record some of these videos, the, the great part about this is you can record them natively within Instagram and all you need is a phone with, you know, even a half decent camera. The quality standards are very low for this. Um, so anyone that's got a phone and Instagram app, they can record it in the app. Um, and what's also cool is that there's a couple of other features you should know about. Um, within that recording feature, Instagram has a bunch of effects and filters. Um, one that's really cool is called the boomerang effect, which is essentially like a GIF, except that it loops back and forth. Um, so instead of restarting, it kind of goes forward and then reverses and then goes forward and reverses. You know, so like you can imagine, you know, if you're zooming towards something, it'll zoom in and out, in and out and kind of repeat. 
Um, it's a cool way to highlight things um, in a bit of a more unique way. Um, so we definitely recommend checking out those effects. There's lenses and stuff that you can do to make things look cool. Um, and, and that's a really cool thing to check out to make your stories um, more engaging. There's tons of different options. There's little gifts, little stickers. You can add polls, questions, um, like sliders for asking people how cool they think something is. Um, you can get direct feedback. Like there's tons of different options in the little story creator. Um, there's lots of text. You can even make a text only story if you want to make an announcement with just text. Um, and you can also add text over your images um, and you can reposition it. It's very intuitive. Um, there's a couple tips and tricks in terms of just making things look pretty. Um, the, the more kind of clear they are, the better. Um, you want to make sure that any text you're including on there is, is big and easy to read because people will only spend you know a short amount of time looking at it. Um, so don't overcrowd your stories with too much. Um, but there's definitely a lot of opportunity to uh, experiment with these stories and, and make them look cool. And even if it's just a behind the scenes video, there's definitely stuff you can do to, to spruce it up and make it look a bit cooler and more engaging. The creativity quotient when it comes to stories on Instagram and Facebook is ridiculously high. You can do basically anything that you want, and the reasoning behind this is because they're meant to be significantly more engaging with your audience. Uh, on a typical post, the only way that a potential follower is going to interact with you off of that post is by liking that post or commenting on that post. Now, when it comes to stories, like Chase mentioned, there's a crazy amount of different ways that you can interact with your followers asking for direct feedback like holding polls having people respond directly to your stories they give you so many different tools in order to interact and, and get legitimate input from your followers so this is really something that you want to make sure you're taking advantage of because it you don't have this opportunity anywhere else on these platforms yeah, and everything on, on Instagram goes on Facebook as well. So there's actually features in Instagram that allow you to connect your Facebook account. Um, and then from there, you can actually set it up to like directly repost your Instagram story onto Facebook. Uh, we'd recommend doing this in general. However, sometimes it's more advantageous to do it specifically on Facebook um, because if you do it that way, um, you're going to be able to set up all of the polls and stuff for Facebook as well. Um, although if you repost from Instagram, it will it will give you um, the same sort of settings as it, as it will. Um, so you don't have to worry too much about that. However, sometimes it is good depending on on your product and where your audience is. You can do them a bit a bit different for each platform. Um, but if you're trying to just you know do everything as simple as possible, just setting it to repost um, directly from Instagram to Facebook or vice versa um, is definitely going to save you a lot of time. Um, and that way you can be sure that it's going up on two platforms for even more reach. Um, and the last feature that we definitely want you guys to know about is a thing called story highlights. So you've probably seen this if you've gone to any big Instagram accounts. Essentially, um, it's available to everybody, but you can create highlights from your archive story. So even um, if they happened a while ago, you can still access them. Um, and you're able to create highlights, which are essentially different albums of stories. Um, you can title in different things like, you know, our products, influencer collaborations, um, a certain event, et cetera. Um, and these are great ways to add a little bit of additional information to your profile. People click on your account. They're going to see these at the top um, under all of your account information. And it's just another way for people to interact with you. Um, and some people will click through these and it's a great way to, again, just increase the interaction with people and increase the credibility of your account as well. Having story highlights on there, especially good ones, um, it's going to add a lot of credibility to your brand. So you definitely want to have those. Um, as far as Facebook, um, as far as we're aware, it's only available for personal accounts on Facebook. So it's a bit of a bummer there, but definitely on Instagram, you want to have those, uh, story highlights. Um, and if they are available for, for brand accounts on Facebook in the future, then definitely make sure to put them up there as well. It's important to note that in the beginning, social media was created for people, specifically to interact with other people. Uh, later, the whole brand aspect was introduced. So as a brand, it is important to be able to have some sort of humanity behind the messages that you're pushing and what you look like on social media and taking advantage of stories, story highlights, 
uh, is a great way to sort of bring that humanity back to your brand and give that more personable look to your potential audience. Uh, obviously, especially uh, when you're posting on Instagram and Facebook and these different platforms, you do want to make sure that you're staying consistent with the rest of your brand messaging, uh, even if it's more genuine and you know less professionally shot or hard cut. You want to make sure that everything is consistent and that you're not uh, putting out anything that's contradictory to the other content or messaging that you have across those social platforms yeah all good stuff to remember i mean just definitely be taking advantage of stories because right now it's just another opportunity for organic reach and i think you'll be surprised at how many people really do tune into all of your stories even if you're posting them all the time so definitely take advantage of them and uh, i think you'll see some good success so on that note um, that's where we're going to wrap things up for this week Uh, Make sure you follow us wherever you listen to podcasts. We upload weekly episodes every Tuesday. If you're interested in reading our newsletter, please visit our website at goldenaspect.com slash times are changing. Once again, that is goldenaspect.com slash times are changing. Thank you all so much for listening to this edition of the Times Are Changing podcast, and we'll see you all next week. If you enjoyed listening to this week's podcast, please check us out on social media, Instagram at Golden Aspect Media. If you want to learn more about what our company can do for your business, please check out our website, www.goldenaspect.com. We offer everything from content creation, social media account management, to digital ad marketing campaigns. Look, if you made it this far, you're obviously interested in this stuff. And are you doing it? Is your company doing it? If you're not, you really should be because you're missing out and we're here to help. So send us a message, send us an email, give us a call. We'll be here, ready to help. Take care.